everyone, one more time. Thank you for joining the webinar about the Jar Steering World Cup. My name is Pavel, and today I'll talk briefly, very short webinar about the World Cup in general. What are the rules? What other data? What, what data will you have? What are criteria? How to win the Jar Steering World Cup? And also some different technical details. And also, of course, you can ask any questions in the Q and A section. Q and A section is available for everyone right now. Let me check. I can see it on my screen. Yes. If you have any questions, please post it on the Q and A, and I'll answer them during the webinar. Okay. So first of all, first of all, big shout out to our sponsors. The let me admit everyone. It's the Core Geo Logic, Geovision, Module Steering Services, Edge Systems, our Platinum sponsors. Thank you guys so much. And our silver, silver sponsors, Bill Oy, Combine, Carbon Consulting, and Shenan Consulting Services. Thank you guys so much for making this event possible. And you see the QR codes. You can always use your phone and make this photo of this QR code and go and learn more about our Platinum sponsors. Thank you so much. One more time. About our last Justin World Cup champion, it's Karma. She's registered for this championship already. I'm not sure if, if she's on this webinar or not. Will anyone, anyone be able to dethrone her this year? I don't know. We'll see. Up to you. And a few of our, our champions for previous years, these are Sean, Anton, Altman, and Team Pineapple with a couple with four people. These are the best gestures in the world for the past four years now. Oh, many, many events. So how the event will go? So we will have a live stream on YouTube. We'll start in 1030 Central Time. Uh, we will send the link to the these live stream events, live stream, let's call it video or stream on YouTube and, uh, to everyone's email. I think maybe like maybe a day or two before the event, you will get the link to the live stream. You can go there. We'll start at 1030 with welcoming and go through the rules also. We prepared some several videos for you with the rules, with the geology of the regions. So we'll learn about this also during the World Cup. And and the you can log, you will be able to log in to solo accounts, to solo and cloud and start geosteering at 11 a.m. Central Time. So yeah, and the first push of the data will be on 11.15 at this time. Um, also we prepared. Okay, maybe, yeah, I'll skip it, skip it. So for the rules, what are the rules? What are criteria we have to determine who is the best gesture in the world? There are two criteria. So the first one is zone percentage. Well, it's quite straightforward. You need to keep your well in the target zone as much as possible. And this will contribute 75% to your final score. Another 25% of your score is ROP. And ROP is a bit more tricky because this year ROP will be dramatically reduced during the slides, which means you, meet, you mean you need to reduce or maybe even avoid micro steering and be very careful and try to avoid again like roller coaster interpretation and roller coaster uh, wells. Because if your ROP is very low, uh, well, the score will, will be lower, even if you have pretty high zone percentage. So take into account both zone percentage and ROP. If you have any questions, please ask them in Q&S section. Everything will be calculated live. So actually, you will see your results. I believe like maybe even during the GR steering itself or are after the first round. So you will have two rounds. ROP is rate of penetration. Like let's say how fast you drill in MD scale. Let's 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 leave it this way. So 
the, the faster you drill and the more you stay in the target zone, the better. Thank you for the question. And ROP, by the way, it's not just the, it doesn't depend on the on DLS, on your curve of your well, but also on the formation. So there are some layers in your target zone where you will have higher ROP. You'll see it live in your project. So once you work in the gesture, you will have ROP log on the horizontal track. So you can see and determine where is the best ROP the layer with the best ROP, so we can try to catch it and stay there as long as possible. During the event, you will have two wells to drill. First one will be unconventional. It's from the Arcoma Basin, uh, from Oklahoma. So, and for this project, for this unconventional well, you will have gamma ray ROP azimuthal gamma ray well and automatically will be dynamic azimuthal gamma ray will be calculated in the star steer also there are going to be uh, some resistivity from the type well only not in the lateral well there are some restrictions in dls for example for landing the maximum dls is 18 degrees well, it's like, let's call like 18. And during the horizontal part of the well, maximum DLS is 12. These values you will see on the target line tab in star steer during the events in, in star steer. Please don't edit the maximum DLS for during the events because the simulator, which will run through the, the entire the events, we will change the maximum DLS always to these values. So for example, you decided to change maximum DLS to, I don't know, 18 during the lateral, lateral part, horizontal part, and you will see some different results one, once the data is pushed to your project. So keep in mind those values are like built in the simulator and you cannot edit them during the event. You will have special pre-spot package. Let me show it how it looks like. The pre-spot package contains information about the wells, about the event, about the entire World Cup. So I don't want to deep dive into the ge geology of the wells right now, because first of all, you have this pre-spot tomorrow morning. I just want to remind you that we will close the registration for the World Cup today at night somewhere. So to whom who didn't register already, please go into roji.com website and just scroll about a bit here, just in World Cup, learn more and register there. And we'll send the, this respot package, this huge PDF document with the whole information about the event and the geology of the regions of the wells tomorrow morning. You can read all this information. So where this, this well is located, what kind of geology it has, the history of the, of the region, all this stuff. Also, we've prepared a video, like four or five minutes video during the event. We'll talk more into details about the ge geology of this region so you can be more familiar what exactly you'll be drilling. For the second well, for the conventional well, this well is from Australia. And for this well, you will have not only logs, which actually more than, than the, for, more than for unconventional, you will have bulk resistivity and azimuthal resistivity. You'll have density and you'll have uh, porosity and ROP, obviously. So there are more data to, to analyze and also seismic, 3D seismic. Real, real cube in, in the Starsteer project. So you can analyze not only your logs, but only maybe follow better your structure. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. You have structure map for the region in the project. So you can 
follow or at least get the idea of the structure um, of the region you are drilling. And for conventional well for, from Australia, you will have seismic cube to analyze and take into consideration during your planning. For the conventional well, you will have different restrictions in DLS. Uh, well, this is where, where we where we at. And please don't edit it again during the event in the project because everything will be shifted back to the correct values during every push of the data. Data is being pushed every two minutes to the project. And for this, by the way, for this project, for this well, you will have different hazards like faults and lateral changes. So be careful and take into consideration everything. And some technical rules. So if you practice and train and use trainer for the this World Cup, so we remember we sent the credentials to connect to Solo and practice working in stars here to prepare for this event. So the idea will be absolutely the same. You'll you will use the same credentials and we'll just log in into the solo. You open the project and data will be pushed every two minutes. You'll have two minutes to adjust your model, find the best fit and put the target line where you think is the your target zone is located where you should drill. Each well, each well will take about 45 minutes to complete, and you will see some results between these, um, be between the steering of two wells. So you have some results between first and second well, well and, the, and finally you'll see the results of who is the best steer in the world after the second well. Again, different logs and different tools will be used for different wells, so take this into consideration. And one important thing, please do not delete or add any objects into the project in star steering. So everything is prepared for you to start geosteering. Model is there, target line is there, logs are there, there are only tracks, vertical and horizontal tracks, everything is there. Please don't create target lines, please don't create other, other interpretations. So everything is prepared for you. Just edit target line and edit the Interpretation itself. This is it. For who, who missed the how to prepare, how to make, use trainer to prepare for GR Steering World Cup, we have a recording of the previous webinar, how to use trainer in more in details. So please use this QR code to get the link to this webinar or just go to YouTube, search for Roji. There will be like last video is about how to use trainer to prepare for the World Cup. All right. So this is it actually. So this is the, what you will see during the World Cup. What are the, what is the schedule? What are the rules? What are the criteria for the how to win it? Of course, sponsors. Thank you so much. And yeah, let me see if we have any questions. We don't have questions right now. Okay. Maybe you have questions right now. So please use QA. Okay, I see one question. What letters in the eyes? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? Letters in the eyes. Could you please explain in, in the in in the comment? Oh, okay. Oh, what is DLS? It's a dog leg severity. It's basically the curve of how fast you change the curve of your well. So, for example, you can change curve of the well 12 degrees per 30 meters, for example, in the for Australia, for metric system. And for the imperial system, you have degrees per 100 foot. Feet, sorry. So, basically, how curved your well can be. This is DLS. And there are some limitations for each particular well that are different. But you will see these values in the project. You don't need to remember it or adjust them. 
you just open the project and you will see these values. For example, DLS, you can see, oops, I have to close the project. You will go into server and you go into solo cloud and open the project, but you will see the target line there and the, these DLS restrictions, you will see them. Maybe I'll just show you real quick. Target line here. DLS will be here. It will be automatically set to maximum value. So please don't edit this one. Everything's prepared for you. You just need to add the target line and adjust model. Again, we covered it in details during the previous webinar. I don't want to waste your time and repeat myself. Again, there is a recording on YouTube. Please go ahead, watch YouTube video, how to do it, what's the, what uh, the settings, different settings for in, in star tier. If you have any questions, What is the major? What are the major difference? What's the main major difference between conventional and unconventional? Well, um, main difference. Mm. Well, for example, uh, let me just sneak peek into pre-spot package. So actually, you you see these differences. You talk. You can read about them in the pre-spot package. I can show you. For example, here for unconventional project you will probably expect some faults closer to TD of your well. Closer to the end of the well, you'll see probably, maybe, maybe, you'll see some faults. In case of conventional project, you don't expect this from the map, from the structural map, but maybe, maybe, you can see it on, on seismic. So this is the type of things we can think about it during the gesturing. But again, there are many different different uh, different differences uh, in terms of geology. So you can see in the pre-spot package, you can see some uh, cross section of geology, the history of of, the, of these regions. So we will cover it during the event. So we have like five six minutes video covering all the geology of the, of the well. You can read also about it in the pre-spec package. How much longer will the trainer be available? Okay, the trainer, we will stop the trainer probably like two days before the event. So probably on Sunday, we'll stop the trainer. Maybe on Monday, something like that. Till this time, you can practice. Trainer is available 24-7. So please go ahead. We have three models there. You can always always restart the trainer and start again with different model. Just press the try again button on the Python tab. So you have like five, six more days to practice. Thank you for questions. All right. Okay, perfect. So, good luck. Please practice more with the trainer. Be familiar with the target target line and editing model. Good luck during the event itself. And see you on September 12th. Just remind you, 10.30 Central Time. We'll be there. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good day.